Hey, Ellie, you're all working late tonight to finish up some year-end work, and once we're done, we're gonna go out to celebrate. What? Marshall, what are you thinking? You know my due date is a week away. Yeah, and? The baby could be born any minute. I need you to come straight home so we can be ready. What? The baby's not due for a week. Why are you so anxious about it? Marshall! My mom told me a while ago that I was born one day early and my brother was born two days early. So I don't see any reason to worry about anything for at least a few more days. Marshall, every pregnancy is different. A due date isn't a sure thing. It's just an estimate. Would you listen to me? I'll be at home for the last three days until your due date, so get off my back. Don't try to use your pregnancy to control me, Ellie. Chill out already. You think I'm using my pregnancy? Look, just lay off of me until three days before your due date, got it? I'm going back to work now, so I'm not reading any more messages until I come home. Marshall! Hey, Ellie, you realize it's New Year's Eve, don't you? Well, yeah, of course. There's only three days left until my due date, so I'm even more conscious of the calendar than usual. Oh, so you did know? Then why aren't you cleaning the house? Huh? You always clean the house from top to bottom on New Year's Eve. Why haven't you done it yet? Get to work! I've done what I can, Marshall. I can't do any more than this being so close to the birth. I'm not feeling well today, and I don't want to risk hurting the baby. Excuse me? I did a little bit in the morning, and I think I might have kind of pushed myself too far. Oh, come on! All you did was wipe down the windows and tables. That's no different than what you always do every week. You have to understand that these are not normal circumstances. How little do you think of me? Don't you appreciate how hard I work to provide for you at all? You can't do even a little cleaning to show your thanks? With the baby coming so soon, to be honest, I have way more important things on my mind. You're unbelievable. And besides, Marshall, where did you go? You said you were going to the store to get a snack, and you've been gone for three hours. Yeah, I'm gonna stay at a buddy's house have a New Year's party tonight. You what? It's your fault for not cleaning the house. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy the new year in a filthy house? My buddy's a bachelor, and even his house is cleaner. But Marshall, you said you'd be at home with me. The due date is three days. Don't you remember your promise? That was what I thought you'd do your job. You want me to come home, clean the house from top to bottom? I don't want a single speck of dust left, got it? Now? It's already 6 p.m. Yes, now. You're not doing your part in this marriage, Ellie. Either clean the house tonight or we're getting a divorce. Stay up all night working if you have to. Divorce? Are you out of your mind? You've gotten lazy and controlling ever since you got pregnant. I mean, come on, really? Your due date being three days away is no excuse for not doing your work. Now get to it! How many times do I have to tell you? A due date is an estimate. The baby could be born any time. There you go again! You're still using your pregnancy to try and control me. You need to clean up your act and fast. I don't want you raising my kid to be a controlling little brat like you. Did you just call me a brat? Anyway, this conversation is over. Either clean the house tonight or I'm divorcing you tomorrow. Happy New Year! <laughs> Good morning, Ellie. Happy New Year! How are you feeling today? Happy New Year, Mom. I know things get awfully busy around the New Year, but remember, you and your baby's health comes first. Thank you, Mom, but I'm sorry. I think me and your son might be getting divorced. Divorced? Oh, what happened? Did something happen between you and Marshall? I wasn't able to clean the house in time. What? Clean the house? Why would you need to clean the house right now? You can do that any time. Well, you do want your house to be clean and sanitary for your new baby, but that's something that Marshall can do for himself. Wait, weren't you going to stay with your family for the birth? Well, no. I decided to stay here instead. Oh, really? My mother has already passed away, and I didn't want to be a burden on my father. He lives alone, and he isn't the best of health himself. 
I was under the impression that you had found another relative who would take care of you at the last minute, so you decided to stay with them. What? I didn't think anything of it. After all, I did the same thing. I went to stay with an aunt of mine when my children were coming due, so I didn't say anything. But is that not the case? Uh, no, it's not. I'm alone at home right now. You're alone? But the baby could be born any minute. You're home alone. Yeah. And you were cleaning? As much as I could, yeah. Marshall told me that if I didn't have the house cleaned by the morning, he'd divorce me. So I thought I should do as much as I possibly could. So I was doing a little bit at a time while making sure I wasn't overworking myself. But it was just too much. Oh, I'll be right over. Marshall told me you were staying with a relative. I thought there was no need to worry. And so I only messaged you once in a while to check up on you because I didn't want to be overbearing. Oh, I can't believe it. What is Marshall thinking? Mom, uh... What's the matter? My water just broke. Oh, no! Ellie! I figured you were done cleaning, so I came home expecting to spend a relaxing New Year's Day in my sparkling clean house, but what the hell? You didn't clean anything! You even left the rags and buckets out in the hallway! Thanks for ruining my New Year's, you ungrateful woman. You knew the deal. This means divorce, Ellie! Where are you? You gotta sign the divorce papers, so hurry up and get back here. Both Ellie and the baby... Huh? ...are in critical condition. What are you talking about? Wait a minute, this isn't Ellie, is it? Right you are. I'm watching over Ellie's phone for the moment. Huh? Who the hell are you? I'm going to message you from my own phone momentarily. That should clear things up. Who do you think you are? What gives you the right to butt into this? It's between me and my wife. Hello, Marshall. Oh, hey, Mom. Happy New Year. Oh, do not Happy New Year me, Marshall. I did not raise you to be such a pathetic, sniveling child. Mom, what's wrong? Why are you angry at me? Didn't you just get a message from Ellie's line account? I told you I would message you from my own phone. Wait, that was you, Mom? Of course it was, you nincompoop. Wait, but I thought you were at home. What are you doing with Ellie and why do you have her phone? Oh, I see what's going on. Ellie's at your place, right? She probably told you all sorts of ridiculous things to get you on her side, right? That's just like her. Mom, don't listen to a word she says. I have no idea what she told you, but she's been using her pregnancy as an excuse to treat me terribly lately. She even tried to skip out on her animal cleaning. Can you believe it? What I can't believe is that you would make her clean the whole house so close to the baby's birth. Oh no, you too, Mom. What's the big deal? The baby isn't due for three days. Ellie is in the delivery room as we speak. What? Her water broke when I messaged her this morning to see how she was doing, and she asked me for help. I called an ambulance for her, and your father and I both rushed to the hospital to be with her. We also called Ellie's father. He's here with us right now, too. The doctor said both Ellie and the baby are in critical condition. All we can do now is wait and pray for the best. Well, for real? But why would the baby be born so early? Me and my brother were born a day or two before the due day, but Ellie had three whole days left. Three days is a long time for a full-term pregnant woman. Is it really? You didn't know that? Just what have you been doing all this time Ellie has been pregnant? Have you learned nothing? Well, I mean... And by the way, you told me that Ellie was going to stay with a relative for the birth and that she wouldn't be at home, didn't you? I didn't want you to worry about her, plus I thought that if I spoiled her too much that she would never become a good mother. It's not Ellie's abilities as a mother that have me concerned. It is yours as a father. Hey, what hospital are you at? I don't believe you, Marshall. You don't even know your wife's doctor? Hey, it's not my body. Marshall, don't bother coming. What? Wait, Mom, hold on. I'll ask Ellie herself whether she wants to see you or wants you to meet the baby. When she makes a decision, I'll let you know. Come on, give me a break! You're a terrible man to have done this to your own wife. 
And think of Ellie's father. He trusted you to care for his daughter and gave his blessing to your marriage. And this is how you repay him. But I... No buts, Marshall. But... Didn't you say you'd get divorced if the house wasn't cleaned? There's still a high probability of you getting your wish. Huh? Do you mean... So you'll have to have that discussion as well. No, I don't want to get divorced. Hush, you petulant child. Mom, aren't you going to take my side? I said hush. I'll update you later on Ellie and the baby's conditions. But you should be prepared for the possibility you never see them again. No, please no. That is the gravity of what you've done today, Marshall. If you still don't understand, then think long and hard until you do. Why is this happening? <laughs> Ellie and the baby made it through just fine. She's been staying with her father and the baby ever since getting out of the hospital. And as for my son, one day Ellie's lawyer came by the house, delivered the demands for damages and child support, and had Marshall sign the divorce papers. Their divorce was finalized that very day. He's constantly whining that he needs money, and it seems like he needs another lesson. So we asked a friend of ours who owns a construction company to straighten him out. So with the aid of his enthusiastic colleagues, he's now embarking on the long and painful road to becoming a decent human being. My husband and I are planning to cut him out of our lives. And after a kind invitation by Ellie, we're considering moving somewhere closer to her and her father so that we can see our grandchild. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.